welcome. I am the Clark Kid, and today, as the title would suggest, I am going to conduct the most boring review ever conducted by anyone. And I'm going to do it because I just have an ambition in life. You know, some people say they want to do the best at everything, but whilst you can be the best, and that's fully significant enough, what's the other most significant thing out of anything? Being the worst. If you're the worst, you can still say you have some significance and that you'll be recognised. So what I thought I would do is try and get people to say, fuck you, in the comments. Because if they do, that means I succeeded in creating the worst review ever conducted. Now how was I going to do this? I needed something really, really, really boring and completely uninteresting to review. So I've got three things to review for you today. And let's skip to the first one. Now, the first thing I have to review is this pencil. It's a, it's, um, a Staples Professional HB. And um, it's, it's got a black tip. It's, it's not fancy, so it, ha it hasn't got the rubber. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's gone a bit blunt. I've sharpened it before. It's easy to sharpen, although it does. It, it um. Let's uh, let's just see if it does what it says it should do. Yeah, it, it writes fine. Um, that, that's a pencil for you. The professional, the Staples Professional HB. It's a pencil. Real plastic is I don't know anything about I don't know anything interesting about plastic. Um this though, this piece of plastic encased my Scart lead adapter for my Xbox and my PlayStation. So um it, it's just plastic. But you say it's just plastic, but plastic is very, very interesting simply because it's it, it's versatile. I mean, look at the shapes it can form, and it's strongish, and it and it flexes like and it flexes like a real bitch. Look at that. See, it, it flexes. That's the useful thing about plastic. It's um good at stuff. God, that's the worst review I've ever done. And part three of the world's most boring review has some pretty boring items in them. Cups. And what I've got for you lined up today is a review of a plain cup like that one. A small plastic cup with dinosaur on. Ah, oh, cheerful looking myself. A big plastic cup. A Universal Studios Hulk cup. And a Led Zeppelin cup. Now, the things that I'm looking for are full to hand ability, handle, is it good, and what it feels like to drink from. It would be the most comprehensive test of a cup ever undertaken on the internet. You are witnessing history. First up is this plain china cup. Now, we just need to fill it up with some water. Right. Good cup. Handle. It's not very thick. I can only fit two of my fingers through there. So let's hold it like that. Yep, fits okay. Reasonably comfortable to drink from. That cup has is one test. The chain kind of cup works well. So now a little kitty dinosaur cup. Now the dinosaur you see there isn't a, just a picture. It is actually plastic and it is there. So obviously this is designed for little kids. So I'm the the handle's not very good for me. And yes, that dinosaur is very uncomfortable in my hands, but. Fucking hell, that's sharp. The little dinosaur cup fails. Big plastic cup. 
Now obviously this doesn't have a handle, but due to its cone shape it fits to your hand very nicely. It's not going to slip through. It's reasonably sharp. Yeah, but quite sharp, but passable. Now this is the Hulk cut from Universal Studios. You can get this from the Hulk Incredible Hulk roller coaster at the Islands of Adventure. Now let's see if it's worth a holiday to Florida just to get one. Well, the handle's lovely and big. That's there's no way I'm going to drop that. Whoops. And yeah, that's quite good too. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's lovely. It's a good cut. Fills all the cut criteria. Now this. This is the Led Zeppelin merchandise cut. Led Zeppelin logo there. And Led Zeppelin are awesome. Ah, right, well, let's fill it up with some water. Right, handle. Again, quite big. Maybe a little bit too big to handle in this one. I think. Can I fit four pigments in it? No, but it doesn't fit three perfectly, so it has a little bit big for my hand. Let's hold it the other way. Pretty good. Lovely and thick, no sharpness. Now my findings are pretty, pretty simple really. If you want a good, comfortable mug, what you need is this the Hulk mug. Because it fits your fingers perfectly, it's lovely, it's brilliantly sized, and it's comfortable. And if I know it's a Hulk mug, and that could be a bit of a turn off really. So, if you want the best mug, I'd get the Hulk one. But if you wanted the most desirable mug, what you'd want is the Led Zeppelin mug. The only mug that you can legitimately sing Led Zeppelin to whilst you drink. So there you are. Oh, the other thing I found out is definitely the best material for a cup is China. So there you have it. The world's most boring review. Um, feel free to say you were extremely bored. And if I get a one star rating, well... I was going for one. And as usual at this point, we shall now say... Roll credit.